Do you hear me? Yeah, really. Okay. Really good. Oh. So, are we going to start? Yes. Yeah, Hello just everyone. Five minutes. Hello, dear participants of the IGF 2022 networking session use initiatives. My name is Pavel and I am a specialist for external communications of the Coordination Center for Russian Top Level Domains and that rep. Also, I will be the online moderator of this session today. At first, let me explain what our session is devoted to. The session will be focused on the discussion of the youth initiatives. To be more precisely, the session is going to be focused on the initiatives realized in the Russian Federation, the International Information Security School and the Coordination Center Youth Council experience. The school and uh, the Youth Council are working on the issue of how all the stakeholders, including the young generation, can work together to assure uh, unstoppable exchange of views and ideas on the issue concerning ICT and IG. And to get started, I would like to ask the participants to follow the QR code and enter a PIN code. We will play a Kahoot game on uh, youth initiatives. You can see the questions on the screen, so answer them within the allocated time limit. Uh, do you do you see the pin code and do you see the QR code? Yeah. yeah. So uh, <clears throat> the winner will be presented with the opportunity to represent the young generation with the opening speech at our next event, which will be held from December 8 to 11 in Armenia on the topic of internet governance. Well, let's start the game. You will have about two minutes. So. The pin number? Yep. The kaput is loud in the internet, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, do you play? Thank you. Or is it not part? Yeah, it's loud. In Kahoot, it's loud. Trying to. Everything is like. Thank you. Excuse me. What is the pin? Pin code. What is the what is the game really? team? Code and now we are waiting for Kahoot loading. Okay, wait, please. Oh, sorry. Few seconds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. According to my colleagues, we have a technical issue. I'm so much sorry. We have no effort to play the Kahoot game. Oh my. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the next stage of uh, our session is the presentation of the school and also of the YAS Council. So, our first speaker is uh, Alvik Martyrasyan, IGF Ambassador 2022, Research Associate of the Russian Diplomatic Academy, Head of the Scientific and Educational Project International Information Security School, which is accredited by the UN Open-Ended uh, Working Group. Alvik, you're welcome, please. So, good afternoon. We have some musical... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, really? Okay, <laughs> so I will try to speak uh, aloud. So, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for giving me the floor. Based on social survey, we conducted among the younger generation in Russia, 
it was found that the respondents uh, faced um, uh, common problems, and you can see them on the slides. It the uh, lack of information on the IG topics on and uh, on the opportunities in this area. The second one is uh, there is no any accessible multidisciplinary communication and educational platform. Uh, and the third one is the lack of digital literacy. So taking account uh, these points, several youth structures were created to address these problems. And the example of such initiatives are um, International Information Security School and the Youth uh, Council. Uh, we are still working on solving these problems by involving uh, uh, both terrorists and practitioners, and we are creating a platform for exchange of experience and opinions. So speaking about International Information Security School, it is a youth edu educational, scientific and analytical platform created on the basis of the Institute of Contemporary International Studies of Diplomatic Academy of the Russian Foreign Ministry. And it's created for an exclusive discussion and exchange of views, development of strategies for a comprehensive solution to the problems of cybersecurity and uh, formation of the track uh, to youth diplomacy on cybersecurity. Um, and the um, last one is to create a dialogue between Russian and foreign young scientists, international experts and practitioners. So Russian and international academic and research institutes. So International Information Security School implements mechanism of uh, various formats for a broad um, discussion on solving current problems in the field of international security and internet governance. Uh, so you can see the examples of our activities uh, on the slide. Uh, dear organizers, can you help us to see the slide, please? Okay, uh, thank you. So it's examples uh, of our activity. Mm, and um, uh, you can see that um, in October uh, uh, we attend the Russian EDF, then large uh, working groups. It's a scientific project uh, to involve the generation in the uh, examination of the internet governance uh, issues. Uh, then it was the webinar on uh, the problems of international information security in the United Nations. And... Um, mm, in November, uh, lectures um, and open discussion with the Foreign Ministry of Russian Federation. Uh, so on the other slide, uh, you can see our plans. Uh, so after Ethiopia, uh, we will fly to Armenia and also we will Organize conference and information security. We will participate at United Open Ended Working Group a session. Uh, so it's a briefly uh, description of our activity. Um, thank you. And now I give the floor to the, our moderator. Hey, Vic, thank you so much for your presentation. And our next speaker is uh, Andrei Olenikov, head of the YAS Council of the Coordination Center for Top Level Domains of Russia, that Ru and that uh, Andrei, you're welcome with your presentation. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I am glad to be with you today. Uh, so, the Coordination Center strives to build its policy, taking into account the opinion of young generation. For this purpose, a special expert body was created within the center, the Coordination Center. The Youth Council was created to. Uh, discuss projects and initiatives in the field of development and polarization of Russian Federation national domain zones, uh, set up and support social and educational projects aimed at improving the digital literacy of the young audience of the Runet, increase the young people's interest in acquiring skills uh, in the use of ICT in the development and management of the national segment of the internet, and represent the interest of the younger generation of internet users. The main activities of the youth 
council um, popularization of internet governance among young people, participation in events preparation, lectures, summer school, discussion club, etc., and participation in the material preparation for informational resources. I also want to tell a little about our project. So here they are. A uh, Telegram channel, Internet Governance, and a group in UBK with news from the IG sphere, educational posts, posts informing about ongoing events related to IG, and participation in Russian and global events of the topic of IG. Uh, we are going to make an educational and entertainment podcast on Internet Governance, and uh, together with the International Information Security School, we are organizing a working group for scientific work on the topic of the impact of destructive content on children and educational webinars about the main name registration and internet law. We also strive to develop preparation so that young people can present their point of view on internet governance. And our goal is the uh, organization and participation in events in the international level. We exist to ensure that the institutions involved in IG processes in one way or another are taking into account the views of the younger generation. We believe the synergy of views and the opinions of young people with more experienced colleagues is stimulating the development of the internet in the in the positive direction. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andre. And as far as I know, IVIP also has additional information about our projects. IVIP. Please. So it can be said that uh, in all countries, the problem. Do you hear us? Yes, yes. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, as mentioned, um, we can see that uh, in all countries, the problems of youth in the field of internet governance are the same, and uh, the task is to expand international contacts with similar youth structures and international organization, including scientific and analytical ones. So we think that many countries um, also have a problem involving of um, young people. Let's solve it together and uh, we are ready to share our positive experience and learn from the successful experience of other projects. And for addressing these problems, we are proposing to create a global youth EG alumni network center for youth cyber diplomacy under the auspices of United Nations Cooperation uh, with the Russian Diplomatic Academy with headquarters in every continent. Uh, and the last one is uh, to create annual international youth scientific conference on the problems of ensuring the security of and in the use of information and communication technologies. So in conclusion, as representative of scientific community, I'm convinced that such initiatives involving representatives of the young generation can become important mechanism for funding new ways of trust and building capacity in all areas of ensuring cybersecurity and internet governance issues. We are ready to share our work experience and as well as we declare our readiness to cooperate and for this we will share our contacts um, after our session. So, Arivik, thank you so much. Thank our speakers for such informative and maybe comprehensive uh, comprehensive presentations. Well, uh, let's move to the final part. Uh, now you can see uh, two QR codes. Please follow them. Uh, so, <clears throat> now I would like to ask uh, follow them to enter the pin code. Do we have also pin codes? Eric? No. We just need to follow the QR codes. Oh, thank and you. And then answer the questions. Oh, yes. Follow them, please, and uh, help us to conduct our survey. Uh, you will have, uh, you will see two questions. First one, what problems for young people exist in your country? What have you faced? And the second one, how do you see solutions to these problems? Please write down your answers. It will help us to conduct our survey. 
well maybe uh, someone have uh, maybe someone has uh, questions uh, if so you can write down it to our uh, to our zoom chat and uh, we will ask our experts here please Maybe we have uh, maybe we have uh, some questions uh, on the floor. Are you weak? Do you see any raised hands? Dear participants. Uh, okay, no questions. Uh, maybe you can tell us about your youth experience and uh, uh, what problems do you face and what solutions do you see? How we can engage the youth more into internet governance theme? Maybe you have your experience. Uh, yeah, sure. Wait for some minutes to give participants a possibility to write answers and then we will uh, go to discussion. Maybe we also can start the discussion a week. So, dear participants, maybe someone of you would like to share uh, experience of your country uh, on um, youth initiatives, on the topic of internet governance. Maybe someone has uh, his own opinion, uh, what he or they uh, can bring to the uh, youth uh, internet governance uh issue maybe uh, someone uh, has ideas right yeah can i say okay uh, this is uh, this is Ashraf from Bangladesh Youth IGF and parallelly i'm the secretary general of Bangladesh school of internet governance uh, so basically uh, i'm a human resource professional also uh, for the second time we are uh, conducted the youth IGF in Bangladesh and Parallelly, we conducted the kids IJF also, but what we faced in maximum cases, uh, we, as we all of you know, the youth have more opportunities to contribute for the IG process, but they are not ever. Um, so, what's have the plan or what's have the initiative for the next uh, for their capacity building? That's my questions to all of you. Your experts. Uh, sorry. Yes, please. Uh, so we are trying now to create uh, some initiatives and educational programs uh, with uh, foreign uh, participation uh, to create these capacity buildings. Uh, and for example, uh, on the March um, of the next year, we will conduct an um, international conference uh, and uh, we'll invite uh, all uh, experts from around the world. And by this step, um, 
it's not only a scientific step, yes, it's also uh, the tentative to create a platform for communication for all young experts uh, in uh, internet governance issue. So, mm, it's just one example of uh, our projects. Uh, we have different projects uh, and also there are some initiatives in the Youth Council. Um, for example, it's summer school uh, on the internet governance. Uh, also, mm, there are a huge participation of young generation and uh, they have the possibility uh, to hear the lectures uh, from the experts uh, from different countries on different topics, uh, actual topics of internet governance, um, beginning from the what is the internet and uh, ending with the issue of fragmentation and international cooperation. So, in general, we try to uh, involve uh, all young generation uh, and to create um, this uh, communication platform uh, through uh, which uh, we uh, see the possibility to create capacity building measures. Okay, thank, thank you for your update. And as I said, you have the global youth IG alumni, right? and the center for youth cyber diplomacy and you mentioned you have the another project you will conduct in march so we are eagerly waiting to join if you invite us from the bangladesh youth community thank you for update thank, thank you, you so much. much so speaking about the youth cyber diplomacy center uh, this proposition was uh, also uh, uh, set up uh, during the United Nations Open Edit Working Group session and now we are trying to uh, get more support for it. Uh, so we are open for cooperation and uh, we'll be really glad to see you all also with us in these projects. Any questions? Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, it's me, Umar Khan from Pakistan, lawyer by profession and cyber law consultant in Pakistan, also working to promote digital rights within the Pakistan, uh, considering the Charter of Human Rights and Principles for the Internet within the Pakistan's delivering session in universities on the cyber law, our national law. My question is that unfortunately we don't have a uh, national IGF Pakistan and the youth IGF Pakistan, a country which is almost in the top list, a uh, top 10 list of the world with regards to the population. But still, it's very unfortunate that we don't have a national IGF and we don't have a youth IGF in Pakistan. So. Uh, if you could help us in regarding setting or establishing youth IGF and you can guide us uh, that how can we start and how much it will, be, it will be important for the youth and for the whole country that we have a, such platforms which can bring uh, such project promoting uh, digital rights, uh, promoting uh, the safe internet for everyone and the access to uh, internet. And with this, with this, I would like to share that now access to internet is the fundamental right of every pakistani declared by the uh, a high court of a high court islamabad so like this is a very good opportunity that we have access to internet as the basic right but we don't have such platform, platform like youth igf international igf how can you help and how can we get together for this thing thank you so thank you very much for your question and comments so um with us, uh, there is a uh, Russian head of uh, EJF youth uh, track, uh, Roman Chukov, and uh, we can exchange our contacts after the session, and we will be glad to share our experience, how we do it uh, in Russia, and also we can share our experience of educational and scientific project on internet governance. So thank you very much. Are there some questions? In audience, okay, maybe in uh, Zoom from online participants. 
So, okay. The floor is yours, Pasha. Please. Uh, thank you so much. Maybe if we have no questions right now, uh, we are coming to the end of the session. Thank you. Thanks to everyone. Thank you for having time to participate in our session. And bye. Uh, so, in conclusion, we would like to ask you uh, to participate in our social survey. So, we would like to write after the EGF scientific article about the youth problems in this area. So, you can follow the QR code and answer the questions. And thank you in advance for your answers. So in general, it's the end of our session because of timeline, and we can um, now turn to our um, unofficial discussion after session for participation. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.